holy men shed their glorious blood for the Lord. They loved Christ in their life. They imitated him in their death and therefore were crowned in triumph. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us now call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave Saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some of you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching. Empty too your faith. Then we are also false witnesses to God because we testified against God that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise if, in fact, the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. For if, if for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hide me in the shadow of your wings, but I in justice shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Susa, Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning to all of you. One of the many things that is happening now in the church is the, the, the false idea that the women are not given a role in the church. No? Well, I don't want to corrupt your your minds. Know what I'm trying to say here. Pero yun, especially in uh, in Europe, everybody wants to because there's the sense that the church is very patriarchal, the church is misogynist, and so on and so forth. And so therefore, to balance everything. Dapat up uh, so many others. One of the accusations I said that uh, there is the that the, the women are, are marginalized. Well, maybe in some sense, true. Of course, for example, the priesthood. The priesthood, no? Gusto nila may pari, mga babae. Pero the question is, is the priesthood a, a right? or a vocation. And ever since pasulod na mo seminaryo, kali yan ang balangin kami sa mga pare niya. Priesthood is not a right. It is a gift from the Lord. It's a vocation. You don't have the right to the priesthood. Masali ka, ay, yan ang uli na hangit ako. It's not. It's been instilled in our minds ever since. Hindi niya, but sali ko nga ng seminarista, ka, uli na hangit. It's not a right. It's a vocation and a gift. And you don't demand. If it's a gift, you don't demand it. You cannot demand a gift. But anyway, the Holy Father, John Paul II, has already mentioned that in one of his uh, writings. I forgot na one particular <laughs> encyclical or, or uh, apostolic uh, exhortation. He said that the church has no power whatsoever, no authority whatsoever, to change what Jesus has done. Sinong itawag yan sa pagkapari? Oh, mga, mga babayi? Is, hindi ah, mga lalaki. E, e, ver, just to make it uh, more uh, precise. Oh, Tipo mangkot, eh, mga babae ah, na ginano. Ara ah. They were accompanying Jesus. This gospel reading from Luke showed to us a very important reality in the church. Nga ah. O tanong mga bilaho. Jesus journeyed from one village to another. This one, kwan siya, continuing ah. Continuing. In the narration. Kunsa pa mabala is a historic present. Continuing siya. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another. Preaching. You see, ING. Wala na butang di ED. Say, so, this is a... In uh, hermeneutics, it means nga, this is true to the entire length or period of the ministry of Jesus. Amo na po sila kung sila kung ING na, preaching and proclaiming. It is as if this was ongoing throughout the entire ministry of the Lord. Oh. Tidason. 
Ano na, anong iyang uh, isang punta? Accompanying him were the twelve whom he called as the apostles. And we know them. Kagisupunan, and some women who had, and some women, which means nga, throughout the entire, throughout the entire preaching and proclaiming of the good news, these women are regularly with Jesus. Hindi ni siya occasionally lang, aari sa subo, 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 wala naman, hindi. Do, do, sige, sige ni siya. If you're going to use hermeneutics here. So while Jesus was proclaiming and ministering or proclaiming the word, this women are, is with him. And who are this? Mary, Magdala, then Joanna, Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of the resources. In this last clause, and many others, of course, wala yan nga sila yung upod gin. Uh, possibly uh, they are at their, their homes and they are just giving the resources. Pero, this three mentioned, Mary, Joanna, and Susana, they are with Jesus throughout, almost all the time. You see? Oh, eh, implication sina. Pamangkot. Wala yung mag-iordinahan niya mga 12 ni. He did not ordain them to become apostles. But they were serving the church. Now, are you telling me that Mary, Joanna, and Sosa are marginalized? by Jesus. The Jesus is a misogynist. The Jesus was influenced by the context of his time? No. Rather, what Jesus is trying to establish here when he established the early Christian community is proper roles in each one, everyone, every individual has their own role to play in the church. Because it's the natural order of things. It's the natural order of things. Mga sapat ganit ni, may aras sila ganit leader. May follower. Hindi pwede tanang leader. O di ba, naka mga mga ido. Kabaloy ka mo sina. Na kung damo ng ido nyo, may ara ila di alpha nga ido. The rest of the dogs will follow that alpha. Pwede man na sila nga, dapat may alpha gina? Why ah? It's the natural order of things. Now, everyone doesn't play the same role, but everyone has a role to play. And this role is as important as the rest. Ang muna natin ang butang na, hindi nga buo siling, wala kung ara ka lang yan sa leadership role, ikaw ang pinaka-importante. Ano naman ang leader kung wala siya masunod sa imuda? What's the role of being in the leadership position and nobody is following you? Or everybody is afraid of you? You are you are reigning with terror. Oh. Ano pulos sina? Kung may leader, may follower, hindi tira ng tanan, follower lang, hindi tira ng tanan, leader. Yan. Sa balay, amo man na, may tatay, may nanay, may kabataan. And they have their own roles to play. Ano nga yung buwa sina kung ng kabataan, nanay, tatay man? Hindi sino na na masunod sila. You see? Kung wala, wala na respeto, eh, wala na, wala na, you have this disordered na. Alam mo na ganito rin, and I will end here with the current uh, event. Oh, for example, si Queen Elizabeth, napatay na. Pero she, because she, she was loved by the people, she was, it shows. Pero of course, some people, some of them, are actually moving for separation, or rather mo uh, moving from constitutional monarchy to republicanism. Pero because she loved. She is loved. Pero nga, tanan ito ng mga tao to gusto sa monarchy. Hindi ah. Iba sila na gusto na mag-republic. Not even part of the commonwealth. Okay, ang manang problema na. That's why Charles, for example, has to work again. To convince these people that he is worthy of the leadership. Or, or, or of, the, of the throne. You see? Yan. Yeah. Because everyone has a role to play. Now, that's also in the church. Everyone has a role to play. We don't have the same role, but everyone has a role to play. Because without one, the other is useless. 
and effectual and effective. Tima auto, no? Is the natural order of things. In the family, there is the father, there is the mother. Both of them are equal, although they have different roles to play. In the church, the men and the women are equal, but they have different roles to play. Let us all stand. Let us offer our prayers as we say, Lord, allow us to offer ourselves to your service. Lord, allow us to offer ourselves to your service. In imitation of Jesus, may the church and her leaders greet women with openness, respect, acceptance, and tenderness, we pray. Lord, Lord, allow us, us to offer ourselves to your service. May society campaign for the promotion of women, concentrating on all areas of women's life and beginning with a universal recognition of the dignity of women, we pray. Lord, allow us to offer ourselves to your service. May women be valued for their skill, professionalism, intellectual abilities and their dignity of being we pray lord allow us to offer ourselves to your service may consecrated women by opening themselves with obedience and fidelity to god's love help the church and all humankind to experience a spousal relationship with god we pray Lord, allow us to offer ourselves to your service. May more and more women became, uh, become active in the work of God, following the women from Galilee and in the early Christian community, we pray. Lord, allow us to offer ourselves to your service. Father, like Jesus, we honor the dignity which women have always possessed according to your love, and plan. May women follow the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who putting herself at your service, also put herself at the service of others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, that in honor of the passion of, the, of your holy martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, May the gifts that gave them courage under persecution make us too steadfast in all trials. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours through Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray. Descending down your spirit upon them that do for us, that the time become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Patricio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, St. Sebastian, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Pedro Calungsod, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. You may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. You may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray in the words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the, the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. It is you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. For those of us who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. Oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me, that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen. Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs, St. Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your spirit to bear witness to the truth of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's now pray. The Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. 
we ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death restore our hope and strengthen our faith we pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country we pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment protection from the disease we pray for those afflicted may they be restored to health protect those who care for them grant eternal rest to those who have died give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need may our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness grant all these through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen we fly to your protection o holy mother of god do not despise our petition in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. Saint Rob, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>